Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, sorry, mm. go ahead. Sorry, I just so much energy. I'm gonna fizzle out. No, you're not. I'm gonna go fizzle ahead. out really Three, two, fast. one, go. Bright light bulbs. Three, two, one, go. Yo, what's good? Randall here. And Bianca. And we're engaged. I hope that didn't break your ears. It broke mine. <laughs> Proceed. I'm sorry. I didn't expect that from you. Um, <laughs> we got some questions from you guys, so let's go and answer these right now. Question number one. Was being chased difficult? The answer, if I must be frank, yeah. is... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> is so. yes, was yes, is yes, and will always be yes. But was it worth it though? Yes. <laughs> always worth it. Next question. How to deal with someone's sexual history? Great question. You don't, you throw them out. <laughs> Just kidding, no. Oh um, I, think, I, think this, I think this depends person to person. I think this depends relationship to relationship. Um, I think a way to deal with somebody's sexual history, I think you first need to establish are you both striving for virtue? Are you both striving to live out um, a chase lifestyle? And you actually have to be open and honest with, with what you're saying, with how you're feeling in that terms of that person's sexual history. But remember, chastity does not care about your past. It cares about your present and it prepares you for your future. Um, so those are my thoughts. Yeah, man, uh, to bounce off of that, I think one thing that's needed to deal with someone's sexual history is to forgive them. Mercy. Mercy. Yeah, forgive them. I mean, because they can really feel like they're like what they've done in the past um, was in a sense done to you. Mm. Uh, I know I felt that way in past relationships and I've experienced that myself. And someone mm -hmm. had mentioned to me, uh, make sure that you forgive them for the things that they've done. One, because um, it wasn't towards you. And mm. two, because they're not the sum of their past mistakes. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Next question. Beautiful. How did you know you wanted to marry each other? Ah. We didn't, it was arranged. It was a- oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> I'm free! Okay, um, so we wanted, we knew we wanted to marry each other um, because, well, one, um, we grew to love each other. Two, we spent a long time dating mm -hmm. and really took our time. And three, um, we were really honest with ourselves and I think if anyone's wondering if like so-and-so is the one I think one of the biggest things you should know is Am I like do I know myself? Well, because if you're not honest with yourself Then you can lie to yourself and be in denial about a relationship that you're in that is not healthy for you And then you can kind of like make it over like over complicated reality like I don't think it's really that complicated to be honest. I mean, it's it can be difficult and it's not easy, but I think there's a difference between something being complicated and something being difficult. Mm. So those are just my thoughts. I have to burp. Sorry. That was Sorry. Um, I think just to bounce off that, um, I think two things for me, for myself, when I was discerning is Randall, the man that I feel God is calling me to spend the rest of my life with. Surprise. Yes. Um, but two things I had to ask myself is, um, one, is he leading me closer to Christ? Is this relationship leading me closer to Jesus or is it leading me further away? And then the second one was I was like, Lord, if it's not Randall, I don't know who you have else in mind because this man is a great virtuous man of yours. Um, so I think just always discerning that, like, is this relationship always challenging me to be better than, than what I was before? But also is this relationship um, like, allowing me to love myself where I'm at and vice versa, like love Randall where he's at. So, what a great question. Yeah, Thank man, you. if it ain't healthy, bounce. Bounce. That's all I'm saying. Well, y'all, that's all we have for today. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you, and if we, <laughs> <laughs> and if we said something that you wanna expand on or if we said something that you disagree with, Make sure to leave those comments or questions down in the comment section below. Thank you so much, and we'll see you. Pray for us. We get married in nine days. What was I about ah! to say? We're getting married. All right, later. Peace. Love you. Was there something you wanted to say? I was just gonna say see you soon, or like see you later, but then I was like, that's, that's basic. <laughs>
<laughs> and then I was like second guessing myself and then Bianca okay. saved me. Peace. Relationships, saving the other. Just kidding, you don't save me and I don't save you. Jesus Christ saved me already. That's how we handle relationships. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. That's how. You don't come.